we've got to start off with the biggest piece of transfer news I've heard in a while. I want to get Roy's reaction. Timo Werner oh. coming to Spurs. Mm. Yeah. What's happening? Slippery, isn't he? What a slippery little Judas. <laughs> slippery little <laughs> traitorous whore. He, he's left. He's left Chelsea struggling. He's gone to Germany. Jeez. Now he's now he's come back and joined a, a club that's higher than you in the league. He's mm. doing all right. You might be in the Champions League with Spurs no, no, at the end of the season. Uh, mate, there's a concept, isn't there? Failing upwards. There's a concept. Whoa, of, there's a, whoa, no, there's a concept whoa. of failing up. Lots of <laughs> no, lots of managers yeah. fail up. I think Brendan Rodgers is failing a good example upwards. of that. Yeah, you, you, heard that. yeah, you know when when somebody kind of doesn't do well in a job and ends up getting a better job. I'll tell you a great example. Of it. I'll tell you. No, he never he never really went up. Yeah, Derby to the, um, he went to Man City. Derby, Derby. He went Derby to Chelsea, but then from Chelsea he went. I'm talking about down. management. I'm talking about management. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. failing up. He went from Derby to Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. He's he's bottom. Just, he fell. Bottom. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Come on. Failed up. I think I think he fell to get the Derby promoted. Yeah, exactly. That's not simply. It's not. As, I think it's not as simple as. Come on, like, come on, Rory. A, the, the, a better example. A better example, surely, is Roberto Martinez, who like took that golden generation of Belgium to. Yeah, going to and Portugal gone to Belgium, Portugal. spot on. Yeah, that yeah. is spot on. Yeah, he, I think. I he's, think they're both spot on. I think downgrade. both of you lads are spot on. Yeah. No, it's not without great Belgium to Portugal. Oh, he went. Oh, yeah, he's he went to Portugal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so anyway, um, I think Timo Werner is is certainly an example of of kind of failing up, but this. No, this won't work. You know, this, no, this, 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 this certainly won't work. You hope, you hope it won't. No, I mean, I, I know it won't. There is no danger. He's such a, he's such a bad footballer. He's such a, <laughs> such an average player. He is, he is so poor. <laughs> well, I mean, think about his time at Chelsea. Think about his time at Chelsea. Just for the record, in his best ever season, Nicholas Jackson has already scored more goals than him. Than yeah, but do you think Andrew's out there? We have to at least break down why this transfer is happening. Yeah. And obviously, I, I back you a million percent. I've watched him with you mm. countless times. Ugly footballer. Mm. But is Andrew just looking at his raw pace, his counter attacking ability? Will he fulfil the squad in terms of you know if they're if they're looking for Champions League spots, if they're looking to win a win a cup, for example, you know he helps you know kind of uh, the squad rotation for Spurs as 100%. well. But I think he's a top player in terms of his athleticism. What's happening, everyone? I'm terribly sorry to interrupt this clip. We will be back to it any minute, but I just need to let you know that this clip is brought to you by Super 6. Thank you so much to the wonderful people of Super 6 who have sponsored us for the entire season and you can really help us out. Make sure that you download the Super 6 app. It will not cost you a penny. And if you predict six football scores correctly, you will win... £250,000. It really is that simple. It doesn't cost you a penny. You could win £250,000 simply by predicting six football scores correctly. And guess what? The winner of the club mini league gets to play football with us. There's going to be a few surprises that day and we would love to have you with us. So please download the Super 6 app. Make sure that you join our mini league. The code is CLUB23 and we will see you potentially on a pitch when we batter pitch side at the end of the season. Enjoy the rest of the clip. Quick player on the break. I mean, different fast. positions. When yeah. you say, when you say, yeah, that's, that's, all, that's all I'm trying to say. He's swift, but yeah, but there's so many more metrics of his game that aren't, no, aren't good. Yeah, but they can play into his strengths though, because yeah. Tottenham's a big pick. What's his strength apart from being quick? That's the same. Hit it on, hit it on yeah, the counter. Feed yeah, but, okay, the but then, okay, so he gets it. Then what? No, the whole point. Uh, move. No, no. You're acting as if he can't pass a ball. Or no, he can't. Ball. He Come can't, on, mate. He's a miss more city. He's in our worst ever eleven. He's a bad finish. Also, you know when you said linking up with Son, the whole point is that he's replacing Son. I don't think he's replacing Son. I think he'll go he on the left wing. No, he's that'd be Kulisevsky, Son, and Havertz on the left yeah, wing. Yeah. I think that'll be it. No, chaps. No, not just for this period, obviously, because he's gone to Asia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. point is to to ease Tottenham out of this like Asia Cup issue. They've bought in. Yeah, but with, in, with uh, a view that this is a guy that plays Champions League football for Leipzig, you know, he's a bit. He is a relatively big Leipzig, name. That's why they've let him go, and they're trying to sell him. Yeah, I get that as well. But he's played a lot of Champions League football for you and for Leipzig before mm. he even joined Chelsea as well. So he's a Champions League he's, level. He's one kind of the of worst player. footballers. I've, you know, if you did a worst ever Chelsea eleven, yeah, like worst ever Chelsea eleven, you're gonna you have. You say worst aesthetically. No, no, worst Kesman no, no. was worse than him. In your, I mean, achieved there. achieved Kesman more individually. Yeah, Kesman would be in my team. For Chelsea though, che no, no Kesman, Kesman yeah. would be in the team. So it'd be, it'd be Kesman and Werner and Chris Sutton up front. <laughs> the three. Chris, Chris Sutton, Emmanuel Petit in the middle, Koulibaly, you know, Baba Raman. Don't work because it, you know it's like stars make fights and boxing and all that. Sometimes yeah. the star doesn't work. And you know me, I agree with you a million percent on, on Werner. It's a very similar situation to Havertz almost. I, I, but Ange Postecoglou has got a very attacking brand of football. If all he's asking him to do is, is, is run down the wing and whip something in on his left foot first time, he might be a decent side. I, I, I don't think he's going to be that at all. I think he's actually going to hit the ground running. I think he might be very good for Ange Postecoglou because he's got someone like Richarlison firing who did nothing last season. He's, exactly. He's, he's, he's fitted his system. Come on, boys. In front of goal, Timo Werner might take 10, 15 chances to score. Mm. But under this under this manager and this this regime, it might be different. I, I, I think never, it's a good, shrewd business. I, I, I've, I've, honestly never seen a, I've never seen a more profligate footballer in, in my life. 
Like I did, I genuinely haven't. In, in terms of, didn't he win your Champions League? Wasn't in, he in that squad? Yeah, yeah, he was. What's in going the, on then? What's I that? mean, Kai Havertz was in that squad, and he's yeah. and we know how average he is. Yeah, huh, but he's in a he's in a decent squad. They're different. They're different setups, aren't they? In terms of how yeah. both sides played. I mean, I mean, you know what um what your manager was doing, Tuchel and all that. It was a little bit more defensive. Ange Postecoglou is a lot higher up the pitch. A little bit more, even if that is naive defensively. Mm. You know, he's. I think he's going to have a lot more joy. The problem with Timo Werner, is, especially with the character like a fucking me, he, Timo Werner will miss sitter after sitter. Like he he doesn't finish. He isn't a finisher. He doesn't score. And if you think that he's coming in to replace, probably the most clinical finisher in the league. Yeah. Like Huminson yeah. is arguably top three, top three. Yeah, yeah, I mean in our I league think, anyway. I think Huminson is arguably in terms of like being a clinical finisher. He's in the conversation Premier League time. Like Premier League finishers, you know the way that people always say Robbie Fowler, an incredibly natural finisher. Yeah, he's he's. he's I think he's I think that good. he is. I think he's kind of comparable to that. There's Kai Havertz, excellent work there. Uh, <laughs> as I said earlier, we're watching the uh, Arsenal Liverpool no, game, not, and Kai Havertz just proves my point. Kai Havertz could be in the Chelsea all-time worst eleven. That'd be a great video, actually. All-time worst. Yeah, 11. we should do that one day. <laughs> all-time worst eleven. We'll, we'll take note of that. Um, but look, ultimately, I, the the other thing, if we now kind of remove. Remove the football from this. Remove the the football analysis and what he'll bring to them as a as a footballer for their team. I think it's I think it's hateful what he's done. Why? Because it's, because of loyalty. No, no way. Oh. He's got a lifeline. They're giving him a lifeline. RB Leipzig doesn't want me. I can go back to the Premier League, top tier football. Tottenham, like you said, they're on the brink of challenging for the top four. Well, getting into the Champions League, I don't think they're going to win the league. We know that. They, they might. They're still in the, the FA Cup. That's another cup mm. run for them. Mm. So Nick, that's 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 good. He's that's good business for him. He's coming halfway through the season. He's yeah, not doing the, it at the beginning the, of the season. The definition of loyalty, isn't it, <sighs> is is potentially sacrificing in order to demonstrate how much something means to you and how much you love something. He it's sh- not about what just benefits you. It's about it's about acting in a way that might actually harm you personally, but you demonstrate loyalty. If Timo Werner was watching this stream right now and is watching you right now, Rory, do you think he should be loyal to Chelsea the way you've just slagged them off? <laughs> because I'm not Chelsea. You're, you're representative of I'm a, I'm a fan. Yeah. I, I'm a fan. And I never liked him. Like that. No, no, no. That's the difference. <laughs> I wish they did. <laughs> he, I've never known a player given more support with, when being more average. Like regardless of how many chances, he, regardless of regardless of how many chances he missed, we were singing that Poxy Verna song, Timo Verna, right? Well, on to. and on and on. When he was missing chance after chance after chance, he was he actually weirdly, and it was totally inappropriate. But he managed to get cult hero status. He was given nothing but loyalty and love from Chelsea fans. Mm. And then he undermines all of that for the sake of a six-month loan deal to Tottenham. Yeah, but he'll be looking at his spot in the in the Germany squad for the, exactly. for the Euros, especially a home exactly. tournament for himself. And and what I would say, you know me, spot on. Uh, you're spot on about uh, Lampard, maybe a Joe Cole, for example. Some of these homegrown Chelsea players, you know, closer close to being homegrown. But Werner, a couple of years yeah. came from the German league. He has a right to play for. Imagine that. So is Havertz yeah. Judas then for going to Arsenal? Sometimes you have to pro- yeah, well, uh, progress your career. Arsenal and Tottenham are a bit different, but. Is Jorginho Judas because he's been one of your, he was one of your best players for yeah, years. Yeah, of course. Tribalism in football is very important. When you when you break ranks, when you sign for a rival, yeah, you lose your legendary status. I don't think do. Fabregas has lost his legendary status for Arsenal. Arsenal fans, yeah, that's him. different. He has, no, he has they hate you. him. No, 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 they hate no, him. No, no, he went to no, Chelsea. No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was at the game. I, I yeah, the game. Get Every booed. touch, he got booed. You're gonna get booed. Every time he lost his legendary status, Fabregas is different, man. No Every way. single touch, it's, it's the hated. emotional connection you got with he the player. Hated. No, no, no. But Fabric, the difference with Fabregas, he wanted to come back home. It was just business. Wenger said no. Mate, he lobbed, he gone he lobbed yeah. Petr Cech. He lobbed Petr Cech at Stamford Bridge playing when he was playing for <laughs> and he didn't Petr Cech playing for Arsenal no <laughs> but Arsenal fans booed him every touch He's, he referenced himself as an Arsenal player he doesn't even it, respectfully he played for Chelsea he still thinks himself as a gooner he still uh, talks about I mean, he, no, he, he's, he's a Barcelona no, he's, fan he's, he's, he's very he's he very, does not consider himself a gooner, gooner always a gooner. I, he I, think, I think he'd actually no, beat, it's not beat true down once a gooner always a gooner you think he loves Chelsea more than Arsenal I think he's an argument he would Fabregas loves Chelsea than Arsenal you're having a lot on my life you're having a lot when you say once you're gooner always a gooner that's just not true though is it yeah, because yeah, Ashley Cole's. It's, it's yeah, di- yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's one though. But he's there. Yeah, but Ver- Ver- is different to Fabregas. Fabregas has got a, a deep emotional connection yeah. to, to obviously you guys for what he did when he's very very young. But Fabregas, but Werner, a couple Fabregas, of years in Fabregas, Chelsea. Yeah. Fabregas was at Stamford Bridge the other day. Uh, Fabregas has been to the Emirates. Yeah, exactly. I'm not saying he doesn't love Arsenal, but I'm saying that he does love Chelsea. He, he's got a respect for Chelsea. 
Well, I mean, no, he's going there. I think, there he, and he's like, like, I think, he, looks, I think he looks back at his career at Chelsea with more like a rosy well, look. He won back more, didn't he? Than, no. than Arsenal. But he won he the league. At Arsenal because he, 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 what, he's won there. Arsenal oh, went he, he used Arsenal as a, a great captain. platform to get to his boyhood club, Barcelona, and then Chelsea, an escape route to get out of Barcelona where, where he wasn't playing. And much. he wanted to come back home. And he came to Chelsea. He was His prime years were at Chelsea. No, he wasn't. He, he was. Lost. It was at like Barcelona. No, but, it's at Arsenal. no, but he didn't no, play at Barcelona. No, also, Barcelona were playing him as a false nine at times. And stuff. Anyway, it's not about Fabregas. I'm just saying, Timo Werner, <laughs> I the, think the you're point, doing a good thing. Is, I think it's, when you, it's all right. The point is, when you jump ship, when you go to, when you go to uh, a club that is a rival, mm. you do undermine your legendary status at that club. Yeah, he's like not a legend. Both. That's the point I was trying to make. He's not, yeah, he's he's not, not a legend a anyway, so you can kind of go a little bit. He was a cult hero. He did. He was weirdly loved. Unduly. didn't deserve it. Yeah. But he did have cult He did have cult hero status. And that's gone now. Oh, hated now. Havertz is more of a cult hero than Timo Werner. And you lot deal with him way more disrespectful. I'm not saying that he isn't. <laughs> but, but you lot don't give him stick for coming to the Arsenal or Jorginho come to the Arsenal. No, but of course we do. He's going six months to Tottenham. <laughs> Miles, what are you on about? We do. <laughs> yeah, Because then yeah, we don't do something fun. that we do. Yeah. But why are you upset? It's only Tottenham though. I think it's going to be good business for them. Are you scared that they're going to maintain are you? Yeah, you might be yeah, like, a little bit scared. scared that it's like... I, no, no, I don't think it works. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I, I don't think it works at all. In terms of, this is what I'm saying. If you remove... If you remove the football from it, yeah. emotionally, I don't like it. Emotionally, it's not what you should do. You know, we as fans, we pledge love and loyalty to players and we expect them to do the same. And when they don't, it's hurtful. But if I remove if I remove that and just look at it as to what will the footballer bring to the team, he brings nothing to that team. So what prediction then? Numbers, only numbers. How many goals? Does he score? I said this on my own. Premier, Premier League goals. I was, I was like, he'll, all goals. He'll do really. He'll it's do really months. well. They're only in two comps, so it's just Prem basically. He'll, go, he'll score if he scores more than five Premier League goals. Five. Wow. Five. He'll do, five would be a huge tally for him. I think Bearing he, in mind, he scored six for Chelsea. Like <laughs> in, in, in a season. Your playing style. Your playing yeah, style. It's a different, different playing style. It's a different playing style. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were a better team. I think he'll be oh. unlocked. He'll be unlocked. We know. We were European champions. Yeah, but you wasn't playing good, Rory. Come on, man. That wasn't good football. You were a defensive side. Yeah. Yeah. We were your and just a lot we, more free. Okay, yes. so we're now. Hang on, I've got migraine there. <laughs> we were the European champions. He's gone to Tottenham. You're now going. I I said we're a better team than that, and you both went. Oh, yeah, but not now. We were European. You, you were a better side. You were far more defensive. You were playing back fives at the, at the time. Yep. This Ange side, we've talked about this millions of times on the channel. They're naive. They they get they go up and down. Mm. But Werner will get a lot more opportunities to score more goals. Yes. than he would at Chelsea, at Chelsea. with, with uh, Tuchel. I think that's fair to say. For yeah. six months, he'll play in a, in a more expansive side, whether for, for worse or, or for good. Mate, I don't know the numbers in this, but I would. I that Chelsea team scored goals, scored a lot of goals. Mm. Like that, it wasn't. But you were def- you were. No, 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 you were I mean, Tuchel, Tuchel is a cautious defender, yeah, exactly. but it doesn't mean that you don't attack. Cautious, yeah. cautious, cautious, Mourinho was a cautious manager, but Duff, Robin, and Jogba scored thousands. I think. What do you say? Six. That's, that, I think that's relatively generous. What's you going to say like zero? I five. Oh, five, I five, 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 five. Five. I think. I think seven. I think I'm right. Yeah, seven, seven. or eight, or maybe uh, ten. But no, you know, six is you know, but six what? goals, four assists. Not ten. No, but that's, ten that's goal involvements. <laughs> no, goal yeah, 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 he's scoring ten goals. I, I, ten goals is someone like Ivan Tony. He, he's there for assists. He's not getting. 10 he's goals. there for assists. Has. He's there for assists. No, I think he's not. You'll create he's ten not. goals. Direct ten goals. I, I, I'll take that then. But mm. I think he gets around like seven goals, if that seven, and that's a good return for them. They're still going to have some. If he, if he, it's if he puts a ball in the back of the net five times. I don't. I'm done. Because, <laughs> because the bloke, the bloke is honestly a woeful footballer. Like woeful. His touch appalling. His positional sense appalling. I don't think he knows the offside rule. I don't think he knows what it means. Oh, oh, mate, that's what I remember he's about also him. incredibly cowardly. Do you know like the worst? Soft. The worst. Yes, soft. Yeah. yeah. It's the worst trait, isn't it? You know. You know if there's a fifty-fifty. Yeah. He's not winning. In fact, if there's a ninety-ten. In his favour, he's not winning it. Oh, Howard, yeah. you guys. Howard. No, he is soft. Come on. Soft, I'm just saying, under this manager, Andrew Postecoglou, we don't know what we're getting. Traitor. We didn't expect this from Tottenham. The football, the expansive football, the the, the, the intricate passing, etc., etc. Whatever you, however you want to lay it out. So I'm not saying it's going to be a flop because I don't know what we're going to get with this manager with this new player. Mm. I don't know what we're going to get, Rory. But what I do know is that Tottenham create a lot of chances. A Timo Werner with one or two free chances, he's going to score. Because even they, like I said, Richarlison's there. They've got Brennan Johnson now. They've got Son. They've got Kulusevski. They Madison will come back and create chances for them. So throughout the season, I think he'll get at least seven goals comfortably. What, I don't so think it's going to be a complete. What flop. between now and the end of the season? Yeah, seven. I don't think it's a flop. It's impossible. I don't think it's a flop. So you're going higher than me. Seven, six, five. I think you'll do five I, at most. I, I think this is great business. You really want to just say one, don't you? One or two. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I think it's, it, man. I think it's more likely to be none. I think it's more likely to be none than seven. 